Hi everyone! Welcome to building an EXE.js application using Modern Toolkit video. My name is Olga. I'm working as a sales engineer for EMEA region at Sentia. If you have technical questions about EXE.js, please drop me an email or contact me on Twitter. This video is an introduction video for a set of videos about building EXE.js application using Modern Toolkit. I would like to start by explaining broad in the title that may be not so familiar to some of you – EXE.js and Modern Toolkit. EXE.js is a complete JavaScript framework with powerful UI component libraries that enables developers to quickly build and easily maintain data-intensive enterprise web applications. Complete means that it includes everything that you may need – data package, UI components, layouting system tooling, theming, routers, and much more. EXE.js is widely known for its awesome UI components. We include everything that you may need – grids, trees, pivot grids, dashboards, charts, forms, panels, and much more. Your productivity is our main focus. EXE.js is supposed to be a tool not for building simple websites, but a tool for building complex data-intensive enterprise web applications. Modern Toolkit is a set of high-performance, lightweight UI components that work with modern browsers. All components are optimized for touch devices, but work perfectly in desktop web applications as well. Modern Toolkit includes device themes for each platform, like iOS or Android. This tutorial will include a set of episodes. In each episode, I will cover a specific part of building web application. In episode 1, for example, we will generate a new application from scratch. In episode 2, we will discuss application structure. In episode 3, we will define basic layout for our application. Then we will load data, add grid and list components, and in next episodes we will add more components – pivot grids, charts, forms, data visualizations, and more. So, what kind of application are we going to build? We will build an application that allows to browse, edit, analyze, and visualize data about all matches played at FIFA World Cups. I have found this dataset at Kaggle.com. I hope it sounds interesting for you, so see you in the next episode!